These people have been doing this for over 10 years. We'll pull them together. They're, they're technicians and biologists from different regions and, and different districts that uh, come together to form this crew um, to, to handle this work. We have a driver of an electric fishing boat um, and two netters on that boat, two netters on a pickup boat with a driver and a crew ready to handle the unbelievable abundance of fish that we collect. Our catch rates on the Rappahannock River approach 6,000 fish an hour. Even though our sample is only a duration of 10 minutes, that's, that's a lot of fish to be handled in a, a fairly short amount of time. Blue catfish were introduced in the mid-1970s to these waters. The population still have not reached equilibrium. Um, throughout the period of our study, we've seen uh, dramatic increases in density in the Rappahannock and James River through around uh, 2010. They had initial really, really high growth rates, which produced a number of big fish. The uh, trophy fish range up to 102 pounds. It's the river record for the James River, but there's a fairly good number of fish in the 50 to 60 pound range. So it's it's a it's a valuable and an important recreational fishery. Yet at the same time, there are concerns related to the introduction of these you know, what's become very very abundant um, introduced blue catfish population in these systems. We're just picking up fish, two netters on the front of the electric fishing boat putting all the fish we collect into a live well. We get lengths and weights and uh, body condition. Diet studies can be done this way. The fish are alive and held and released unless we have to sacrifice them for other work. What happens after you introduce a fish species typically is very rapid growth rates, very rapid expansion in numbers and, and high and a really high number of large individuals for whatever species you're talking about, and then it settles into some long-term sustainable level of growth and density. And so we're seeing these declines in growth occurring right now. What will happen long-term as far as impacts of the catfish just can't be, you know, we don't know until the population settles down and we have an equilibrium state achieved.